Hey, what's up guys? This is Michael from Hustle Sheets and today I want to show you how to combine data from multiple tabs onto one master tab. This is a super useful formula. I use it all the time. Uh, one of the most common examples I see when, when people want to use this is when they have one sheet of data for each month and then they want to have one tab that combines all the data from all the months combined. Right, so I'm going to use that as our example today. So here you see I have three three sheets, January, February, and March, and then a fourth sheet called all months. Now this is going to be our master sheet that combines all the data, right? So uh, the first thing you want to do when, when uh, combining your data is you want to go to all of your individual sheets where you're inputting the data and you want to make sure that all the columns are in the same order. So you'll see that I have a month, date, client name, and spend for each of the months. And it's all in the exact same order, right? So once, you, once uh, all of your sheets are in the same format, the second thing you want to do is you want to go and copy any of these header rows. So you can copy, you can copy just one of these titles and then go to your sheet where you're going to combine your master sheet and then you're going to paste it in here. All right. Okay. And then now you're going to type in, in the next empty row, you're going to type in equals open bracket signs. Then you're going to go and highlight all the data from, from every tab that you want to combine. So I'm going to go to January. And then I'm going to highlight by clicking on A2, and then I'm going to drag it over to D6. And you'll notice that I didn't include the header row when I highlighted it because I already added it into my master sheet. So once you do your first highlight, you're going to separate each sheet by a semicolon, and then click on to the next month, and then do the same thing. You're going to highlight everything except for the header row, click semicolon, go to March, and then once you've gone to your last sheet, then you're going to Instead of using a semicolon, you're going to close the bracket and press enter. So you see here that all the data is now combined, right? Uh, there's only one problem with this, however, is that this only is going to include data from A2 to D6. So if I go into January and then I add in new data, if I add in like, I don't know, Steve Nash for you know, $500 or whatever, um, it's not going to show up here, right? So the way that we fix this is that we're going to go back into the formula and we're going to erase the row number. So instead of saying A2 to D6, it's going to say A2 to D. So I'm going to do that with all the sheets, right? And then now I'm going to press enter. Now it looks like some of the rows disappeared, but what really happens is now that it's bringing in A2 to D, it's going to bring in all of these blank cells as well, which means that there's going to be a giant gap between January and the next month. So if I scroll all the way down, then I'm going to see all the months, right? So what we want is we want it to, to display like before, but then we want to be able to add in new data. So how we do that is we're going to use the query formula. So go back to the formula, and if you type, in, if you go to right after the equal signs, you're going to type in query parentheses, and then click to the end of the formula. Type in a comma, quotation marks, select asterisk where call one is not null. Now let me explain what this formula means. It's basically, and then put a close parentheses and a quotation marks, right? So what this formula means is that it's going to query, it's going to query this data that we had highlighted, and then it's going to select all, the asterisk means all, where call one, the first column, is not null, which means not empty. So I'm gonna press enter. So you see now that all the data, <clears throat> all the data is combined just like this. And if I go in and if I add in, if I add in some new data, so let me add that in, it's going to automatically show up, right? So one thing to note about this formula is that it says select all where column one is not null. Now this formula only works because I know that there's going to be data in my first column, right? Call one. So yeah, um, it's going to bring in all the data as long as there is something in the first column. So if I type in January and that's it, it's going to bring it in still, right? But if I type in, if I type in data here, everything but the first column, it's not going to bring this in because it's saying only bring in the data if column one is not empty. So make sure you use a column that you know is going to have data in it. If you don't have a column that's for sure, if you don't have a single column that's for sure going to have data, then what you're going to have to do is make the formula a bit more complex 
after the null you're going to add in or call 2 is not null or call 3 is not null or call 4 is not null now what it's saying is make is bring in all the data where as long as there's data in column 1 2 3 or 4 as long as none of those are empty then bring in the data right and then press enter and then now if i type in now if i add in data anywhere it's going to automatically bring it in as long as there's data in one of the columns cool so this this is how you guys combine data from multiple tabs on a one master tab let me know in the comments below how you guys plan on using this formula or if you have any questions about it i'm going to leave a link uh, to this doc in the description so that you guys can go in and kind of play around with the formula just make sure that you don't request access go to file and make a copy so you have your own uh, copy to work with Thanks for watching guys and uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want to see more tutorials like this. Thanks.